Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to build a simple um, hangman game in Python. So if you know what the hangman game is all about, but that's okay. Now, if you don't know, let me just give you uh, a simple overview. So now the hangman game is just basically a game, or let's say a play between, uh, let's say two players. And then, so we have player A, right? And player B. So player A has um, a word, okay? That is unknown to player B. So that means player B is going to actually uh, get that word. So player A draws out some dashes to represent the length of um, the word that player B is to guess. So for every time player B gets um, an alphabet or character or that word correctly, so player A updates the dashes with um, uh, whatever the um, second player suggests. So for every time the user, uh, the second player, sorry, uh, gets the word um, wrongly, and then so we are updating that those um, uh, we are actually just drawing one element of the arm stick, sort of like a tally mark, and then so that means if the uh, the second player keeps guessing the word wrongly, then we keep drawing something like this till we get to the man who has been armed. Though contemporarily, some don't actually love the idea of a man kind of the different stuff that have been uh, come up with. Okay, so that's all about that. So let's go right straight into the code. And then, so the first thing I want to do actually, since it's a game, I just want to, um, I want to def um, design um, the interface here. So I'm just going to say here, I'm just going to say Kuntu, and I'm going to ask what is your name and then there okay so the input um if you've been seeing previous videos what the input here does it allows the user to actually interact with uh, the system so it's asking what is the username and then the user can actually type in whatever the name is and then i'm just going to come here and say um so print um welcome to hangman and i'm just going to put um the name okay so now this one will say welcome to hangman and whatever the name that um the player imputes and then so in our game we actually want our our player to just have 10 attempts okay at the end of that we want it um to just um say he has lost okay so now we have this one and then so the first thing i want to do here again is i want to say so import random so I'm importing random because what the random library does is it allows you, it just picks a word, um, a string, an int, randomly. Okay. And then, so I'm coming over here and I'm saying the, and I have some sort of a function or a block. And then, okay. So now we want to store this word into something and I'm going to just say random the choice. Okay. I'm going to say random choice and then I'm just going to do this. Okay, so now random dot choice. So this returns um, um, could be anything. But yet for purpose of um, this uh, video, so here it's going to just return um, a string from the sequence of um, our array, right? And then so we want to input some words because we just want the program to suggest or to bring a random word for the user to suggest. So I'm just going to just put in a ten words here yeah. so let me just say this one let the first one be uh, america and then the second one um the second one can actually be what well, my own name for, for example and then so this one can just be let's say um let's say this could be Rumi, and uh, this on its own could be uh, shakespeare which is pretty long and then so the next one can just be something like let's say apple and then the next one can actually be something like python and then the next one can actually be something like zali and then the next one one two three four five six seven and then the next one can be socrates and then the next one also can be okay africa and then the next one can be let's say europe okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay there we have all our words 
And then so there's something else I want to do over here. I want to do over it later. So I just have to do C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay, I could have done this. Good job. All right, so now valid letters. Now what our valid letters say, seems to be doing is we know that now we have strings up there, that's a, those alphabets, right? So we want to make sure that the user, whenever they input something, we want to know whether the word is valid or not. So here, any word that is between A to Z will be considered um, valid letters. Okay, and then so we want our user to actually just have a in attempts and then I'm just going to just declare this one here I'm just going to just say it's guest made and that's going to be an empty string which is going to represent the guest that our user uh, declare um, has made and then I'm just going to say y length of word y length so length here is checking uh, represents of the length of the string okay it's greater than zero that means we have something going on and then so for every time y this is true, okay? So I want to just say main equals to um, an empty string, which we get to understand. And then, okay. So while the length of word is written in zero, so that means it is an input. And then, so main is um, an empty string. And then I'm going to say for letter, let's say a word, okay? And then if letter in um, guess made, and then I'm just going to say main um, equals to a main um, okay main um, plus letter okay that, there you have it so that the four here the four letter in word is a for loop so I'm actually checking into um, the word that has been declared up there okay so for letter in word so if that letter is in a guest mode that means it does that certain character in the guest mode so we want to update our main with main plus a uh, letter. Okay, and then else, if that is not it, then we want to just say main equals to um, main. Mm -hmm. Let's say main, okay, and then we just want to add this underscore and then we want to just put this uh, X one over here, okay. So that means if that is not it, and then so main just has this, um, dash and an empty string and then so it goes on and then so but if main um, equals equals word so that means if main equals to word like if it is italics with word so I just want to print you know main and I just want to also print um, the one okay all right so and then I'm just gonna come over here and then we are gonna say um, okay so let's just do this and say um, print uh, Guess the word okay and then okay and then so guess let me just declare this guess and just then just call it input and then leave it that way okay so fine so I'm saying print guess the word right so like we have um, this our input like I mentioned earlier so it allows the user to interact with um, the program or, or the system right so print guess the word and main so that is asking you to guess um, the word that we have and then so this guess allows you to input so whatever the user wants to um, input anyway and then so we go and then we are saying so if that guess okay if the guess is inside of the valid letters so that means if the user let's say write something like a b c d, c, d so if it is inside of those valid letters of course so what we want to do so we want our guest mate which is up there which we left as an empty string here so we now want to update it to now say so guest mate plus guest so that means when the user now imputes that guest okay so if it is valid so our guest now you know gets updated to our guest mate gets updated to um, the uh, guest that um, the user as um, input into a system else so that means it most likely it is not found in valid letters maybe it is not um, an alphabet and then we just want to say uh, print this one say okay I have an error here enter a valid uh, 
character character okay and then there we go uh, let me just put this in our in our English okay so else enter a valid character and then the system is asking you to print a valid character or to input a valid character so you definitely know then that is you have to type something right and then we are saying then guess equals to of course so again input and then so the user can input whatever it is that uh, they want one and then now i'm saying again now so if that guess now okay is not in word so that means you know we have updated guess earlier and that so let's say so if guess not in word and then so we are saying attempt equals to attempt minus one and then why we say minus one here you know remember that um okay okay yeah so now we have um okay so we have attempts which is a minus one because attempts here is an integer and then it represents uh the uh, number of attempts that the user has so if the guess is not in word okay so that means the attempt is uh, reducing so now so if guess oh uh, sorry if attempts okay equals equals nine so that means if the guess is not in word and then the attempt has you know been subtracted or one is subtracted or subtracted from the um, attempts it makes it nine so if it is that and then we just want to print uh, something like this okay so we want to print you have nine nine turns left or oh, i'm just going to put this and just say nine attempts left okay left and then we draw that and so the next thing we want to do too is um so if attempts okay because it was eight and then we also now want to um do uh something like this okay i'm just trying to just get this so that um, i don't go too much too much too much of time here and then i'm just going to say print and then i'm just going to come over here and i'm just going to draw this eight something like that okay so now if attempt is eight so now we are having the eight already and then so let's come over here and say if attempt um equals equals um seven and then so what's the next thing we want to do okay here we have eight attempts left not nine eight attempts left but i can go on writing this anyway but i want to actually just save up the time and then so we have our seven attempts left and then maybe we just want to do something different to here you know what i want to do i want to print this so i want to give uh this a neck um okay and then so if attempt equals equals to seven and then so we have this and now so we are going over to six so if attempt so that means we are okay you get to understand we are actually now designing the structure or the image of a the man we sang in so for every time the user lose uh the player guesses the word wrongly so this is what happens okay and then so if it equals to six and then we want to say um so let me just get this one as well and uh okay so i'm just going to just update this two here and i'm just going to give him a leg okay that's it and then so we are drawing just one of his legs already so for the seventh attempt or for the sixth attempt okay and then so the next thing i want to do here too is going over to five if attempt okay because it was five and then so what do we want to do we want to get uh, this over here too and then so i'm just drawing the second leg here okay so now he has two legs now and then this shows us something else is happening uh, well if you would permit me let me um just copy this as well and then so if attempt so um, okay no. so if attempt equals equals four okay so now what we have here is just um so print so we have here five and then we have here four 
okay this isn't working now sorry about that and uh, so you have to just make sure everything is left in check and then so we have here we have um, four attempts left okay and then so what next do we really want to draw over here so the first thing i'm just okay i'm just going to come over here and draw a hand okay for our player okay so if attempt is four and then we have um, this one as well and then if um so let's go to the third one okay i'm just copy and pasting so that we don't waste a lot of time on this so if it equals to three right so that means it's saying we have um, three attempts left and then i'm just going to draw another end over here which makes it uh, the second end okay and then so let me just move this uh, stick okay okay and then this and then this okay that's working fine and then this and then this and then this okay fine okay and then so the next thing we want to do over here is um so let me just get this up again and then so once we go to the second one uh, so if attempt equals to first two this may not be the best design though and then so now we just want to update um, this one and then we just just say uh, something like this okay so let me just put this over here okay and then again i am coming over here to say and then this is going to just be for the one um okay to see and then so let's just add this okay so if attempt equals equals to one you have uh, one attempt I'll just say you have an attempt left okay and then so what do we really want to draw over here so we are just going to just um, let me just come over here and draw something like um, this uh, where right here is dying okay that way and then so I just to come over here now and say if attempt okay So if attempt equals equals to zero and then we are saying so zero attempts left right and then so we just actually want um, this man um, to be dead um, okay let me just do something like this and we come over here and uh, let's say something like this and then we may just want to have uh, maybe this hand here uh, let's see okay maybe we can just put something up and then so let me just come over here too and then just do something like this and uh, okay so now we have this man who seems to um be on and i can just say print wow well, you let him die okay and then that's his um it and then what i want to do over here is i want to just break this so that our whole uh, program does not run forever and you know until it runs out of memory and then so I can just actually apply that break to this one as well so that okay so now let's see uh, what mistakes we've made uh, in uh, the program and instead of just checking so let me just run it firstly and let's see if there's a mistake okay it's asking for my name now so I'm just gonna say Lucas so it's saying welcome to Animal Lucas you have 10 attempts but it's not showing anything why because okay these are function right and then we have let me just put this one up here and then so you can see clearly and then so here now we have an man and then okay so um and man oh whoa. look what the root and man okay and then okay so now let's run the code again let's see what other mistakes we have okay let's say lucas 
So okay, so it says, welcome to Hangman Lucas. You have seen attempts. So guess the word. Now this word, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six characters. Okay, can I make a guess? I can't make a guess. Now, we will assume that the player does not know what the word is. It's a random word from um, the word that we've stored up there. So now, let me just guess the word. So let me say A. Okay. So that is the first one A. Okay, the second one is A. And then the third one is A. Oh, what would that be? Ah, uh, okay, let me just cheat a bit and uh, let's just come over here. Let's see what that word could be. I guess here now it seems to be what? Um, okay, let's see. It has how many characters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it looks one, two, three, four, five. Is this not, um, okay, this is not in America. Uh, the second one is A. Mm, okay, that seems to be Ghazali. And then so let me guess a g okay it's updated z it's updated l it's updated i it's updated so you won okay so now let's now do this lucas and then so let's guess let's say x i have nine attempts left x eight attempts left x seven attempts left x six attempts left x five attempts left four attempts left i'm not getting the word correctly oh i'm gonna die oh it's dying one attempt left and then so you let him die and um so that is um it is over there so if you uh, love the video kindly subscribe to the youtube channel and um so you get some updated when the videos get to be uploaded thank you